Welcome back. We are finally on our way to start some work on our holiday rambler. We still have some more to do on Harvey and also our van now, uh, but we wanted to take advantage of this somewhat sunny day. So stay tuned to the end. We're going to get a little techy. We found some design software and show you some color options for the rambler. All right, you got some helpers here. <laughs> it is cleanup yeah. day. All right, all we got to do, our jack doesn't work, uh, the trailer jack, so I've got to use this floor jack to lift it up a little bit, set it on the ball. Why don't you just lift it like that 20 year old kid that we bought it from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kid was superhuman. He, he was, was superhuman. Super nice, but he literally picked the trailer up by the tongue while I backed underneath it. <laughs> and uh, he set it down on there. Uh, it was incredible. Like, <laughs> crazy. Right. I'm excited to see if some of this stuff comes off. What's really lurking under here. Not the best looking right now. <laughs> nope, not in here. Go. Come here. Here we are, and in all of its glory, a 1973 Holiday Rambler Vacationer. Where'd you go? Oh, <laughs> I was supposed to stay on? Okay, sorry. Yeah, so we haven't seen it for a while. It's about to be winter. We need to get it cleaned up so we can get started. We're going to do the outside, clean up a little on the inside, and let's go. Let's do it. Christy's going to start pressure washing on this bad boy, and then we will see what's on the inside. So the Rambler does have a couple little holes in it that we're going to have to patch up. That vent there, we're going to have to cap before it comes uh, winter out. And then we've got to replace this back glass back here. Definitely start with the tow rig. <laughs> that, so, all it's right. gonna be horrible. I mean, yeah, it's like it's in the 40s out here. The sun's out right now for a few more minutes, but right. Uh, I would say, I would say, we'll call this the pre-soak. <laughs> Should yeah, I'm cranking it up. <laughs> all right, we're going to sandblast mode. <laughs> that is leaving so much. I mean, that is not even taking off all this algae stuff. Yeah. So. So we're gonna have to give it a bubble bath? We're definitely.
All right, I got two sides power wash. Taking a little break to warm up my fingers. Tyler's got some super clean brushing action going. Is it taking that stuff off? It's helping. Um, probably could use a, uh, like a, just a hand cloth and a deep clean that way. Probably some bleach would have helped out quite a bit too. A scour, yeah, a, or a scouring pad. A scouring pad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we are thinking at this point that we're going to want to paint this. And that's one of the reasons why actually we haven't picked a name yet, is we haven't decided on a color. So try not to break our um, map thing. Right. So we are very fortunate that we still have a lot of this original stuff so the holiday vacationer maps are still there you can see this has been painted a, several times but still original tail lights here's another one of these this has seen better days i don't know i looked up these pieces online and i don't know if the exact ones exist for sale right now um so we might have to get creative with what we do there around the wheels Giving Maggie her love. Oh, look at that face. <laughs> Jack is going to go for a little Sunday drive. Yep. Here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh boy. He's giving her the gaze. So Jack starts driver's ed in a couple months. So he's got to get some practice time in. So he doesn't freak the driver's ed teacher out. One thing we noticed is we're missing a piece of trim up here and there's a good Probably inch gap up there. We can show you from the inside. But how much water and soap did we get in here? Oh, have you been in here yet? No. What do you think? Oh. Swank. It's not your fave. No. Got a spare. Need yeah. some, probably some wind added to it. But right. All right, so Jack said he'd open these coffee cans and see what's inside as long as we agreed to split the earnings with him so what are you hoping for chris i'm, I'm just hoping it's not a whole lot of sharp this. objects no. and illegal drugs that our little son is going to open right now what are you hoping for money money that's a good hope what are you hoping for coffee <laughs> <laughs> oh 50 year old <laughs> coffee oh uh, so this is a 73 so that makes it 50 oh, years old. Let's see, no number drugs. one. Dry hole. Oh. It's like pulling the slot machine and it's like such a disappointment. Oh. Are they all empty? Coffee grounds. Well, it's it. There's enough coffee grounds in One it. of them has something in it. Are they all empty? What kind are they? Are they even old or are they like from last year? Yeah, I found the treasure. Oh yeah. Those are awesome. So, there's four. Ooh, did they give you five coffee for dad? Cups. 
Ooh, oh. yeah. Is nice. there coffee in there? Ooh, oh. That's I mean, what fit. are... These aren't even that old. Oh, chock full of nuts. Huh. Half calf. Oh, no. Yes. Sacrilege. Yes. I feel like there's a lot more work here now than what we originally thought. <laughs> um, I remember how much work there was going to be. Christy wanted this to be a five-day makeover. And as you can see, one day of pressure washing and uh, we still haven't cleaned the inside. So we've well, got we're about four to. days to finish this. Well, okay. So we're not going to do a five-day makeover, but... I think that if we bought everything we needed, really dug deep, didn't have to work that day for, you know, well, didn't have to work those five days, dude, oh, then we boy. could do this. What is it? Nails and screws. Oh, yeah. Dang nab. Probably all the original hardware for this Ooh, place. Could be. All right, hang on to that one. We can split those up later, Jack. <laughs> you can take your half. Oh, that was the last one. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't find millions of dollars? Oh, I, I bet they hid it behind the walls. Oh boy, Jackie, go get the gloves. We gotta start tearing these walls apart. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, five days, not gonna happen. <laughs> this is a pipe dream. <laughs> No, we can't do it in five days. Um, I don't have any vacation left. <laughs> yeah, right? You right? Oh, boy. Well, don't break it. Ooh, it's a little flimsy. Okay. So do you see what I'm seeing? That's bad news right here. Do you see it? Yeah. It's either... So this is not the original windows we thought we had all original windows in this thing yeah. so i mean that looks a little funky like it's winking or something how often do you really open these things uh not very often and if you opened it you'd probably only open it that far so nobody would ever see the glass Did you? oh that's a bummer though yeah. I mean, I don't think we're going to find that window. I don't, then, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, never considered that. Maybe it's laying inside here. And, uh... Yeah. All right, let's get some gloves and dig through a little bit. All right, so we have some luxury vinyl flooring here. Very nice. Um, unfortunately, it's missing in several big areas, so I don't think we'll be able to keep it. Okay, so we basically bought this, parked it, and been working on Harvey. And this is kind of the first time we've been in here taking a look at what we have. So unfortunately, there wasn't millions of dollars in those coffee cans. But we want to go through some of this stuff, see what we have, see what is behind there. Um, we just did discover that that's not the original window, which is a bummer. There's that missing piece of trim up there. Um, it's the top of the door frame. Overall... It's a lot of work, what we're looking at here. I mean, we're basically going to start with a, a blank slate. And in some ways, that's good. But um, we have to figure out what we want to do. I mean, so we have this here. I think that was the black tank. Got some plumbing. Um, there's some electrical in here. You can Got see where a, it's been cut up here. What was? Oh, oh, that whole thing was cut? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, that adds some work. <laughs> I did notice over here, these wires were cut. So, I don't know. I mean, the cushions are here though. So, there's good a win. News. Right. <laughs> All right. So, you're digging into this insulation, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I think I see some trim down there, maybe for the door. It's hard to say. At this oh, point. is that the AC right there? Ah, uh, that looks like it could be. What is that? Is that? No. That's a threshold, but what's that one under it? That might be it. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, that piece. This, is yeah. that one thing? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the piece. Hey. Well, look at that. See? Um, That looks like some wood rot there pretty good. Uh, So, let's just start digging in and see what we can find. Let's do it. 
we don't love just starting from scratch on everything. But hi, Ruby. These drawers are, you know, in pretty rough shape. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe new kitchen, maybe just new drawer fronts, but... Some plumbing in place. You love it, Rubes? You love it? What do you think? You want to see uh, some mouse housing going on? Oh, boy. Oh, there's an access hole there. Oh, no way. There's some... Are poop. they in here? Like, are they alive? Well, who knows? Oh, man. I was hoping we could reuse this insulation. Oh, well, we could pressure wash it. Oh, what is, is that, is that all, that's all poop. It looks like coffee grounds. That is all poop. Whoa, what? Yeah. No way. Way. No way. Way. I mean, <laughs> oh, I mean. from past experience and cleaning out things with poop on them, this is, uh, this is one of the more pleasant experiences. <laughs> one of these days we'll make a montage of you just a whole bunch of clips where you're cleaning up right. various poop. <laughs> <laughs> Unearth some treasure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What's Good stuff. under that? I don't know, but it's all reusable. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I just wish it was. That's, an, uh, that's a power converter. Yeah. Holiday Rambler. Mm. Power converter. Nice. Wow. I wonder if that works. Well, what to say? Remember that video we watched where the guy was like, yep, it's got the stamp on it. That means it was checked. It works. That stamp's on it. It works. <laughs> right. So, this is guaranteed to work. It's got that stamp. 50-year-old vehicle. It's certified. Certified. <laughs> oh, we got another little hole here. There are so many holes in this that I didn't realize. <sighs> I mean, we knew we had the window. We knew where the old furnace vented out up there, but there we're finding a lot of holes. Aren't you glad you offered less than what he was asking? <laughs> yeah, I wish we would have offered less than that. <laughs> what yeah. did we pay for this? Five hundred dollars. I believe it was five hundred. All right. Well, well I had mean. some wasps visiting. Um, I'm just trying to wrap my head around a layout. Yeah. Right. All right, we relocated the couch cushions, so this is our stove. How three nice burner. is that? Yeah, three burner. Uh, not heavily used, that's nice. But check out the old kitchen counter. I don't know if you can yeah. tell, it's definitely got a slope to it. So it slopes downhill, and then there's a ridge there at the back. Screen door, uh, just, it, it's in decent shape. It just needs some new screen. Here's another, another screen. Yep, here's another screen for this window over here. We also found these um, curtain rods, which are telescoping rods that would go from one side of the camper to the other. Yeah, these long ones, Will. These are shorter. I think these were for for the closet. Yeah. How about the uh, rod that you found on the floor? Oh, this? Yeah. Okay. I'm hopeful someone can help us really know um but what we believe is this thing went from here ish we can see circles on the walls to where we're pretty sure you know it's kind of behind the screen but that it went here and held a mattress and hopefully i'm not totally wrong and sound like a moron but um that it, it held a mattress up higher when you were, you know, using the camper during the day and then either came this way or that way to let it down when someone wanted to sleep on it. All right, we are back out here in our 1973 Holiday Rambler Vacationer and we are going to, I guess, gut this thing today. Um, it's mostly gutted already, but looking around a lot of the wires are cut we need to see what's going on behind the walls we're assuming there's a lot of mouse poop and things back there we we're hoping to keep 
not not keep the mouse poop, but <laughs> we don't want to keep the mouse poop. We were hoping to keep as much as we can, but I think a lot of it's going to have to go. We've seen so many ideas for names in the comments down below, like out the wazoo name <laughs> selection, but they've all been really good, really creative. So we thought we might give you a peek into the thought process, like a day to day. This is what goes on through Christy's mind. I don't know, guys, um, if your wives operate the same way my wife does, but take a look. Okay, so picking a name for this camper, this should be easy. Harvey was a good name, but this camper feels a little fancier, so maybe go with a lady's name, class it up a little bit. So maybe like a first lady, Jackie, Jackie Kennedy, Nancy. Oh, fancy Nancy, I said it wanted to be fancy. Um, what about just fancy? Oh, you can't think of fancy without thinking of Reba. We could name it Reba. Or does fancy make you think of Fancy Feast? That doesn't sound too classy. Break me off a piece of that Fancy Feast. Okay, focus. Back to first ladies. Ladybird? I don't know much about Ladybird Johnson. LBJ? Oh, LBJ. That was her husband. I wonder if anyone else has realized they're both LBJ. Anyway, so maybe not a first lady. What about Elizabeth Taylor? Marilyn Monroe? I don't know, we can't go with Marilyn because I had an Aunt Marilyn and she was kind of like a saint on earth and don't want to name a trailer after her. Uh, so let's see, the comments, a lot of people suggested Rose. Rose is good, also a family name though, but Ramblin' Rose, uh, Rosie the Rambler. I kind of like the idea of secondhand Rose because we do want to do this one more on a budget. So that would kind of be cool. It's a holiday rambler. People have also suggested Holly. Holly's definitely a contender. So going back to Rose, I think the thing with that is we need to decide on color. If its name's Rose, it really should be red or some kind of rose color. Red could look good. Some of these vintage campers were red, but a lot of times they're that teal, really light blue. Should we go with that? I don't know. I kind of want to modernize it a little bit. Maybe a darker blue. Ooh, or even that cool like blue, green, gray color. Paint that quilted looking metal silver. Or stick with the original and go with more like a copper. That would look awesome. But if we went with that, then it kind of rules out Rose and Rosie. So I guess for the name for this camper, we're going to go with... Oh, wait. We're YouTubers now, so we have to wait to tell you until later in the video. Stay tuned. All right, we've got a little heater in here today because we have this impromptu kind of snow storm. I wouldn't call it a blizzard, but um, definitely cold outside. We're going to get to work tackling some of this mess, and we'll bring you back in here in a minute to show you what winds up being left. And what better time than for me to go outside and see if there's a black tank <laughs> Well, we're thinking there. that this is the black tank. But this goes down, the one from under the sink goes down, so we're wondering, is there a gray tank? Um, what we've heard is that in these campers of this age, a lot of times the gray water just went straight to the ground, so we're curious where those go. Yeah, we have, we've seen pictures online of like some different layouts, um, maybe not this exact one, but what I was thinking possibly was vanity light here, vanity, uh, sink trap, into the uh, you know gray water wherever that goes. Bla uh, toilet um, sits on top of the black tank. Usually, yeah. And uh, so, like I said, I'm gonna go outside and lay in the snow for a minute and see what I can see underneath here. If it doesn't work out, then I'll just be covered in snow and I'll come back wet. <laughs> this is commitment, shimmy on down. Right, so here's the <laughs> valve. Um, Gosh. I don't, like, is I, that supposed to really point straight down like that? That's kind of yes, wild. Yes, no, that is correct. Oh, this is what I'm going to do first thing. <laughs> <laughs> Get soaking wet. <laughs> so, that is the kitchen over there on the opposite side. Comes over here into a street Y. You see the pipe back there. That, um, that goes to that stack. Uh, that goes all the way up um, that is still existing in there. And then this comes this way out to this dump out. And right above me here, this is the white tank above where I said that the, uh, the toilet would be perched upon. 
So I don't see anything else. Let me crawl back there in the back. But I don't see any other tank other than this white one that was inside. Oh, it's so wet and cold. <laughs> I just showed you what I saw underneath. This is the kitchen here. This kitchen pipe goes all the way over here to a street Y, and it's going this way. This pipe here, this stack, actually comes down and joins into that street Y. They both come along here, and then they go to the dump out on the outside of the camper there. There is a valve for this. We'll call it a black tank because I think that's what it is. And then there's a pull handle on the outside there. This is the only valve and it also joins into that black pipe that goes out to the dump out. So what I'm assuming is happening is that there was never a gray tank. There's a little uh, on the end of the big cap out there. There's a tiny little uh, cap. Uh, you could probably open that up. And I would assume that they were just dumping, dumping their gray water out onto the ground and then the black tank of course when you got to your uh, dump station that's where you'd open your valve and let her rip so we'll probably have to add a gray tank that would probably be good i think just dumping the gray water on the ground is frowned upon these days probably so maybe illegal yeah this is 50 years later so i'm thinking we're probably going to have to keep up with epa requirements <laughs> <laughs> Demo day. Mask up for safety. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. So we got the converter out that was over here. Um, we're not sure if it's gonna be salvageable or if we even need it. We're wondering if we really need to do anything in DC. But we're trying to assess the situation here and this stuff is frozen. So we moved our Mr. Buddy over here, try to see if we can thaw that out. Um, this subfloor is kind of rotten here. So we're gonna at least need some new subfloor over here. Rebuild this part of the corner. And um, the rest of it so far, no big surprises, I don't think. Um, keep hitting our heads. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. We just took the cabinet down up here. I was hoping that our water damage was just from this window and down. But we have quite a lot up here. And this is just totally rotten away wood so um this piece will have to come out it's held in there by one good screw and then um we just hooked up this light and realized that we have a pretty good leak up over here right which there was a vent there we just threw a little piece of flashing over it but didn't really uh do much else and so now we're catching some water. Great. But we'll get it. We'll get it fixed. <laughs> right. Uh -huh. uh, so here's the current state of affairs. 
that window's still missing. Um, that was on the to-do list months ago, but, you know, life happened. So we're getting on it. Here's our little corner action. See, there's not much wood left there on the wall. It's all repairable, though. So it just takes a little time. Some, what are these here? Two by threes? Nope. These are two by twos. Well, we might put two by threes back in. I don't know. But yeah. give a little framing. And we're back in action. So we are finding that, like, this is the subfloor. And I think the only reason I can't take more handfuls of it out right now, this is it here, is because it's waterlogged and it's frozen. So um, we did not anticipate having to do subfloor, but we should have. You think? I mean, <laughs> yeah. we knew there was a leak. Just goes to show you if there's a little bit of water showing somewhere coming through chances are it has made its way elsewhere when you when you see the water damage initially that's probably about 10 percent of what's going on see how this insulation looks that's because it's waterlogged and frozen see how it's all wet back here right now we've been thawing this out so man it's going to even be hard to get that out right now with with the temperature the way it is yeah, so this is our wall and subfloor right here. Oh, that vapor barrier didn't do a very good job. You know, it, it held the water in, I think. Yeah. That The area that had that vapor barrier was definitely soaked underneath. I think it held it in. So, you know, put a couch over it. No one will even know. Sure. A little bit of silicone. Seal her up. <laughs> yep. Ooh. So I don't know if we're going to wind up keeping this oven in this camper. It looks like it may work. So look at me. Where do I put this? <laughs> <laughs> um, we won't get rid of it. But, oh, look at it. It was shimmed with two pennies. Oh, what year? Oh, boy. Hey, pennies. You think I can see that? <laughs> My eyes are so bad. 1969? Oh. Wow. Dang. We've been 1975. Oh, nice. Boom. Our water collection unit is uh, getting is more full. <laughs> okay, so the main thing is this countertop has got to go. It's, well, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know why we'd want to get rid of it, but... Yeah, it's not going to make the cut. So we may keep the kitchen, though, like the existing other stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about the sink. The sink's humongous for this amount of counter space, and that right. it's over half. I don't know that we need a whole big double sink, but we'll, we'll see. So... Uh, <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that was just gonna snap off like that. That was awesome. Um, we'll have to get the sink out, and then we can get the rest of this countertop off. All right, I'll get to that. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh whoops! Okay. Sorry, I shouldn't have broken that. We could reuse this. Right. <laughs> this is the countertop. I mean, the countertop is basically off-ish. Oh boy. Uh. The whole front's coming off. Yeah, that that's the ticket. There you go. <laughs> oh. Um, there you go. Just don't break the window, yeah. Oh, boy. Um, uh, our water lines are still connected. And we're going to want to save that trap, possibly. Oh, crow. Oh. <laughs> it just poured out dirt. Huh. <laughs> well, that's weird. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> All right. You need me to help? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at the bottom of that. That's been getting wet. Right. So some people might not be able to see the grand vision yet for this camper. 
Um, it is definitely a work in progress. We actually got a lot done today, even though it looks way worse than when we got here. But um, we've been playing with a new program to design actually when we got the van. So if you haven't seen our van video, it is glorious. Check, check that out. one out. We'll put a little link at the end, but um, we got the van. We started trying to lay it out and we're going to try to use the software for this too. So we'll give you a little peek at what we're thinking for this thing. Before we show you our layout ideas, we didn't want to keep you in suspense any longer. We've had a lot of comments and there's been a lot of talks between Christy and myself. So the name we've come up with is Ladybird. Pretty bird. We're thankful for all the suggestions and comments you guys have provided. It's kind of grown on me. And I feel like we've missed out on an opportunity. We could have gone with a Elizabeth trailer or maybe Trailer <laughs> Swift. I think. Well, there's a lot of campers out there to save. So maybe we'll get our own Trailer Swift someday. <laughs> maybe so. Before we wrapped up this video, we wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what we're thinking for the layout. So actually, when we got the van, we started looking up all different things about camper vans and all, of course, got hit with a whole bunch of ads right away. And um, one actually caught our eye and it was for this software that you can use to lay out the inside of your van. And since Ladybird here is actually only 18 feet, um, we thought, well, we're going to need to work on the layout here, too, and decided to give it a shot. So we're just kind of learning how to use this. Um, but this is a general idea what we're thinking. Bedroom on the right, bathroom kind of has to be here because of the black tank. Just doing a handheld shower like we did with Harvey. We really wanted a big open living space. So we have that here. Hopefully it's nice and comfy and cozy. A little area to eat or have your computer. Um, not sure exactly how far this wheel well sticks out. We need to do some more measuring. But want to put a fireplace here. Um, continue that cozy theme. There's also options to look at this in 2D, which isn't quite as cool, but you can kind of move things around a little bit that way. So the software had pre-made van templates, but not travel trailer. So our walls here are actually angled and haven't figured out yet if there's a way to do that. You can see that the door isn't exactly a camper door and these aren't our windows, but there's a lot you can customize, move things around. Um, it's kind of fun. It's If you've ever played The Sims, it sort of has like a Sims feel to it. Um, so we've had fun playing around with this. There's also a whole library of different finishes and wood and tile. Um, we'll change what we have here once it gets into real life. But um, there's a lot of different options. You can even have pets. I don't know if this is supposed to be a real cat, but there we go. This video is not sponsored, but I know a lot of people are working on similar projects. So we'll put the link in the description and in the comments for you. We're still learning about it ourselves, but if it looks interesting and you use our link, we get a couple bucks to support the channel and it helps us put out some more videos for you guys. Thanks everybody for watching the video. If you haven't seen any of our other content, go back and check out our other videos. Hey, go ahead and <laughs> subscribe. We like those. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.